In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ray casting. It is a simple algorithm that finds all the objects that are in the path of your mouse. It is really useful in 3D game development, such as in Minecraft when pointing at blocks. By the end of this video, we should have something that looks like this. Also, some of you guys told me to make the infinite rendering occur when you're a good distance away from the edge of the world and not when you're right next to it. This was really easy and we will also take a look at this in this video. Finally, I suggest you download this code from my GitHub repository in the description below as there may be some things that I forgot to mention. Enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show is um, the infinite world generation, uh, like the new thing that I did. So you can see that I don't go right next to the border. In fact, the world just generates as I approach it, as I approach the side. So the way I did that is, um, yeah, over here. Uh, yeah, here. So I created two variables, uh, local variables of this update function. And one of them is called world size. And this basically says, uh, it basically has, it's a constant pretty much. So uh, like you could also write constant, but yeah. And um, yeah, so it's basically a constant that or variable that has the amount of units of the world. Okay. So how many, how wide it is or how like, how wide and uh, how deep it is. Yeah, pretty much how wide it is okay so and then this ratio is like a percentage that we're going to use to um, multiply by that okay so you can see before this was like 20 okay so this before it, it was like that but now it's now it's like this so basically when i cross 40 percent of the world um basically like when i when i'm closer than 40 percent away from the border of the world then um, yeah then do all of this okay so it's quite simple and then same with over here instead of doing minus 20 I did uh, minus world size times ratio and then yeah now we can get on to this ray casting cool stuff okay so as you can see I have no pointer like I said and um, in the next video uh, w w when I basically implement uh, destroying blocks and maybe even adding blocks I'm gonna add a pointer okay so yeah, so let's get on to the code for this. Um, that is over here. Basically, in 3.js, um, or in any 3D game development, or even 2D, uh, you, like basically to to point at certain objects, you use ray casting, okay? Ray casting is basically, as you can see on the screen, when you shoot a line from a certain place, and that line will basically intersect with objects, and it will it will basically tell you how many objects and what objects are being intersected with. And then, yeah, basically I have to pick the first object. You can see intersection zero because, for example, if I point over here, if I point here, there's actually one object here and then like there's a ray that's going from my camera to this object. And it's obviously also hitting the object, the, the cube behind it, okay? So I have to pick the first intersection. So that's that and um, yeah, so over here I do constant, uh, make a constant that's a ray caster. Then I make a pointer, and this pointer is basically, um, like basically in 3D game development, most of them they use mouse for this, so they make a mouse position over here. But uh, but because our mouse is just fixed to the middle of the screen, um, we can basically just put 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. The next thing is using the var plane variable. I basically um, use that and that's the plane okay so like this plane that you see this white one uh, it's actually not the face of the cube it's actually another plane that is on top of the cube okay or like right next to it so so instead of shading the face of a cube i'm, I'm basically adding a plane on top of the surface of the cube okay so um that actually took a long time to make so i'm so i'm super happy that it actually worked <laughs> and uh, yeah because i was trying to find out a way to shade the side of a cube of an instance of an instanced mesh because our world is an instanced mesh and that's actually really hard to find out like i couldn't find any and um unfortunately 3.js hasn't come up with anything anything like that so far so i had to come up with my own algorithm that basically um adds a adds a plane on top of the surface based on based on the face that we get on the from the intersection okay so basically yeah let's just get on to this code so in the function render i first call this function raycaster.set from camera so from the camera 
I basically um, shoot out a ray. So that's the camera that we're using, and that's the pointer. Okay. So from the from the camera to the pointer, we basically shoot a ray. Okay. Then um, this is the intersection variable. Um, this intersection is used for instance to meshes, as you can see, intercept objects. Usually it's in intersect objects with an S at the end, but now it's not because we're using an instance to mesh. So this basically tells us all the intersections. If you want, I can actually show you. Um, so yeah, so this will show us the first intersection. The uh, Where's my console? It is over here. Yeah, so yeah, you can see that they're like um, console the logs kind of the logs in the console of every intersection that my mouse is getting okay so that's that but i don't want to make our game laggy so i'm just going to comment that out basically what this does is it checks first if there is an intersection okay so if intersection of the zero is not undefined so if if intersection zero is defined as something okay so if it exists and if the intersection zero if the distance is smaller than 40, okay? So like, as you can see, like it stops over there, okay? And that's also in Minecraft, you can't reach like all the way to that block over there. You have to, um, you have to like be in a certain distance, okay? So that's that. And uh, yeah, so if that happens, then first I want to check if, if the plane, like if the plane is already in the scene, okay? Because I don't want to keep adding new planes to the scene that just takes a memory. So I just, add it once okay and then every other time I do this so plane dot visible is true okay um, and then yeah I basically material index that basically tells us so when I like when I um, intersect with a face it tells us the the position of the face so if it's zero if it's um, it's right if it's one it's left if it's two it's top okay so like for example um, this over here that's back or that's front, sorry, and front is uh, what's front? Front is four. So if I if I show up the console, it will it will give me like a number four over here for the material index, okay? But if I go like over here at the top, that would give me two, okay? That'll give me a number two for the material index. So that is that, and um, yeah, so that's the material index, and the position is the intersection position, okay? So this is like the position of the of the of like the place where I intersect okay so if I intersect like over here it will tell me if I intersect over here then it will tell me the position for that if I intersect even over here it, it will always it will also tell me the position for that okay so we have to find a way to make it so it's in the same like surface and that I basically did over here but I'll tell I'll tell you that after these variables over here basically um, I declared them before, so I can just, um, it's easier, to, it's like way easier to work with, first of all. It, it, it's basically the, it's basically the, um, what is it called, where is the plane? Yeah, so at the end, I basically do plane.position.x is equal to x, and then so same with y and z. And over here, we calculate the values for x, y, and z, and then we put it to x, y, and z, and then over here, we set those values to plane.position, okay? So yeah. And then this const inc is basically the distance from the surface for which you want to add the plane. So you can see it's actually not right on top of the plane. You can see it's like there's like a small gap in between the in between the cube surface and the plane, and that is 0.1 units. Okay, so that is that. And um, yeah, switch is basically like another way to use an if statement and if else statement. So um, we're basically comparing the material index value. We're seeing if it's right then we want to rotate the plane um, to its correct thing so it has to be rotated like uh, like this okay but if, but if it's on the top it has to be rotated 90 degrees along the x-axis so that's like that and then pi over 2 that's 90 degrees um, x equals position dot x plus ink basically um, when it's right so when it's over here right x it increases that way right so it increases that way and it decreases that way. So we want to do x plus 0.1, and that's over here. And, we, and then this is the math part. It basically finds the closest multiple of five. Okay. So the so like let's say 
um, I'm pointing over here for the uh, yeah let's say I'm pointing over here and then it will like if I logged it to the console it would tell me that the distance or the point the value for which the point the value for which the intersection hits the the surface is like let's say it's minus 10 10 and 20 x y and z coordinates and over here let's say it's uh, minus 2 3 and 4 so we have to we have to basically round these values to the nearest 5 so it like keeps it to the same uh, face okay so it's kind of hard to explain but we did use the same algorithm for uh, for this over here for the Perl and noise so the height okay you can see that each block is like a multiple of five so it, it like there's not a block here and then there's like another block two pixels away but there's another block right above it like five p pixels or like five units sorry so yeah it's kind of hard to explain but yeah um, that is that and then where were we yeah so I basically do the same thing for right left top bottom front and back and then I set the positions and then I say that if um, so this is else uh, let's see um, yeah so if if there is no intersection so so that is basically if there is an intersection if there is no intersection then first if you check if the plane actually exists and then if uh, like this is basically if you're pointing towards the sky or something or if you're like too far away or, or like if you're pointing like too far away like above than 40 units then you want to make the plane um, uh, visible sorry invisible okay so that is that yeah that basically explains the whole plane uh, thing this uh, pointing system this ray casting is pretty cool uh, it took me a while to like find out all the information and how to actually do this so yeah but at the end it finally worked so yes and uh, like I said again um, in the next video we're gonna be adding the like point the plus sign over here so it looks like actual Minecraft um, moving ray casting system thingy so yeah that is that so far we have written 630 lines of code we crossed 600 in this episode in episode 11 I think or maybe it's 12 even I lost count so yeah <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching and um, I'll see you guys in the next video